Hi, so I thought I would do a series called Hall of Fame. Well, you notice that I have Sabaki open and not um, a Go server where I can play on. Um, Sabaki is a beautiful program, by the way, an SGF uh, editor that I highly recommend for reviewing games. Um, it's something that I like to use um, kind of detached from all those AI tools so that you can kind of really think about what the moves are before you ask the computer for analysis. Um, but it's essentially this great uh, Goban notepad. So as you notice, I'm not on Fox right now uh, because I stopped trying to stream, or I mean not stream, but record while I play. I, I figured I needed to focus more on the games um, and not be distracted by talking. And I noticed that I had a lot of thoughts during the game that were left unfinished because I had to focus on the game. Um, so there's hard to talk about anything else besides the game itself while I'm playing and what I'm thinking. But here, I can go ahead and show you all the moves that I played during a game. And what's even better is that after the month is over, uh, I can handpick the few games that I think are noteworthy or have great stories um, to tell. And uh, I thought this series would be a good way for me to share those games. Um, and I hope you enjoy. So this is called the Butterfly Wing Dragon Game. Uh, I call it that because... Well, well, maybe I'll explain it later. There's a game on Fox at one minute uh, main time with three periods of 20 seconds, so it's a really fast game, faster than I was used to playing before. I'm Y here, and I was playing the two-star opening, the Nirensei, for a long time. I decided to play at least 50, um, 50 games with this opening, and I would try to do the uh, AlphaGo corner invasion um, as much as I can as well. This uh, Tanuki from this approach here is kind of a new thing for me. I I know you can Tanuki from it, but I was always hesitant. But I wasn't scared for some reason this game. And we got this um, the dog leg thing going on. And uh, we just start to play out the beginnings of a Joseki. Um, I jump out. But this is not Joseki. Uh, this is a little weird and I'll show you what the Joseki looks like so Joseki is here jump out uh, da, 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 da. I'll just kind of show you the Joseki this is Joseki I looked it up afterwards but this is the game do, 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 do. so you know not very violent yet um, just quasi living groups I mean they're they're pretty much alive uh, and then I go in for the 3-3 right away. I don't even think about it, right? So these games, I don't even think about it. I see a 3-3, I go for it. And usually the computer is like, yeah, man, go for it. And uh, here, uh, I, I started pushing. I used to Tanuki from here, and you can live from here. but Because uh, I didn't want to give black any more thickness. But I started liking this a lot more. This is safer. And... Um, it's actually it's actually not that bad for black to have this so uh, let's continue right so I back off see I still get that move that I was able to uh, tanuki from okay uh, this is I would say so normal Joseki you go here right but since black has these stones so black's thinking okay since I have these stones here we can go a little bigger uh, I go ahead and make a normal extension, take a big point, and then black takes my corner. And this is, so this is a move that I don't see I did at this level in tie jump. Tie jump players don't play this move ever. They only play this Joseki. Actually, let's go back up. The most common move that I see on tie jump is this. Whoops, sorry. I keep doing that. Is this, right? This. That's the most common response to the 3-3 on Taijem. The second most common response is this Joseki right here. Um, 
if they're a little stronger, I would say they would choose this one. Um, but the vast majority choose uh, this one right here. So for me to play this is kind of out of the ordinary. Um, and then we got a small knight here. Um, this is not a brain full move. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like looking. I'm trying to find shape points and I'm trying to attack. But uh, it's it's really not something. It's I'm not very comfortable with it. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Um, I don't really know what the better thing to do here might be. I think, you know, bigger point over here in this area might be better. I don't know. Um, but I, I go for it and nothing happens. I'm like, okay, well, it's Aji. Um, this is, I don't know if this, how big this is. I don't think it's as big as, I don't think it should be played right now, but maybe it's, eh. this is probably better. Um, this is a very, very interesting move. You don't see a, a move on the third or first line in, in, the, in the game uh, like this. Um, early on it's kind of interesting anyway I, I just respond um, I, I'm not sure this is really all important to respond to okay so now there's something that interesting that happens here so black wants to go and scoop me under scoop me from underneath and I'm like sure go ahead go right in um, I'll take the outside uh, and black pulls back and connects here now I briefly consider this is remember this is a blitzy game pretty blitzy game I did take a little bit of time to consider this variation right here, not variation, exchange. It doesn't look good, right? That does not, it weakens that bottom left corner. But I did consider it, um, as I've written in my notes here. This is the butterfly wing of the game. So butterfly flaps his wings so that the... The, the saying goes that you you know a butterfly flapping its wings from one side of the country will cause a hurricane on the other side. So in this game, this is what I consider the butterfly flapping its wings, which is me not <laughs> not pressing like pressing through and trying to force that connection there, uh, and then just kind of going nope, I'm just going to cap this thing. Um, Black is kind of putting pressure on my group here. Um, and I'm just trying to live. I'm also trying to put pressure on black here. Um, and I'm, I'm feeling pretty happy. Black is giving me a lot of thickness by pushing through like this. Um, and I feel like I can escape. I feel like I can do a lot of damage right now. Um, and I'm just kind of taking my time here. I think I remember taking burning through my seconds and just thinking like okay what's the best move here and just kind of reading as much as I could and I'm realizing like this pushing sequence down here will eventually threaten to connect me up to my corner um, and I value my corner I'm like look as much as I want to you know elongate this white group here I love my corner and I'm not gonna um, and then black goes here which I don't really I guess it's kind of trying to surround me, but I still have another forcing move down here. Black comes down this way. Uh, I, I, I try to escape, I jump out, and so the game is actually reaching a tense point soon. Create a bamboo joint. Black pushes in. Uh, I try to protect from that. This is not the right move, I don't think. Don't remember what the right move was though from what I learned uh, I'm not sure what the best move is someone stronger can tell me um, and black is still trying to surround this group right here right that was a little uh, bit unnecessary um, but you know I have a lot of options there's cutting points I can break through um, And black continues um, her assault. Now this move is kind of a stupid move. I, I, I guess I couldn't find a better move in time. Um, I, I knew it in my gut. You know when you have like that feeling when you're playing Go and your gut tells you you're not doing something productive. You're not doing anything useful. 
and then you, your hand just moves to the move that is not useful or productive and you just click the stone and you, you just have to do it for some reason yeah that was one of those moves black is coming out I'm still just trying to like click around now after this futile attempt with this group of stones over here I find this move this move uh, is one of my favorite moves that I played um, the idea being if black tries to cut me off here well that's no good that's a capture right if black tries to block me off here instead of connecting back what we do is we just cut and if black decides to capture I can Atari that group and what do you know I can cut this group off here and that's actually what happened in the game so what other black uh, options black has um, black can actually try to protect this cut um, like so um, sacrificing this group of stones here right um, but what black does or you know you can also protect from this point right you can go this way and sacrifice but that's the idea but what black actually does is what you know this is something that happens to people a lot I mean it's not like there's actually a lot of hope for black here anyway um, actually I can't remember if I saw that this bottom left corner group was actually very killable but um, the point is here that um, when I go here and Atari this group it's very hard when you're playing the game it's very very hard to convince yourself to connect and give up these stones that's not easy to do it's a little hopeless sometimes you take the worst move because um, the loss that you have to suffer through is so great that you can't take it um, and even if it's the worst move you, you'd rather do that than imagine a, a loss like that and you end up losing even more and so that's what black does I disconnect and now look how many liberties black has one two three how many liberties do I have one two three uh, four, five, six. Uh, call this seven. Is this how you do it? One, two. yeah, I think that's a s seven. Something like that. And black just does not really know what to do. I can probably play away at this point, but it's a blitz game, and I want to make sure I counted things correctly. Uh, oh yeah, so I noted here. Here, as soon as Black plays this move, I, I just spend a good few seconds counting liberties, making sure I won this capturing race. And Black allows me to play on and actually make the capture. Um, as you can see, there's a little blurb I wrote. Sometimes, a capture like this, it, it feels it feels like two wins. It feels like it's worth two wins. Um when you first start playing go the thing that you enjoy is capturing stones and that never really leaves you <laughs> when you capture a group like this it feels good of course it always feels good to win a game of go by playing great direction of play moves and opening moves and big moves and being smart and wise about the game but other times things like this happen where a dragon dies oh just to go back and and, and tell you what this was about remember this area over here uh, how do I like mark this remember this area where in the beginning I did not connect not that I would have not that I really would have done that after some thinking but I considered it you never know what will happen later in the game 
this is something that actually as a double digit Q or even single digit Q player like myself it's hard to understand why you wouldn't play certain sequences out until later this is one of those reasons um, I mean obviously this is a bad sequence to play out in the first place but you just never know what will happen in the rest of the board and you never know what will come of it so um, hope you enjoyed um, I have a few more of these from August so uh, keep you on the lookout for those um, I will try to go over them and until next time thank you very very much for watching feel free to kibitz especially if you're a stronger player or if you're a weaker player if you want to add your thoughts um on th the terrible stuff in this game oh one thing i did want to know about is the the uh the corner group over here i think i remember reviewing this whole position with ai and uh feeling like i won um, but there was a way for black to kill me, which is always disappointing when you feel like you've had a triumphant victory and It was like you just barely made it because they blundered really hard <laughs> But um, but but that's what it is go is a human game where both sides make mistakes and the victor is the victor and that's what it is So until next time. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye